Uhuru. Uhuru. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that introduction. Uh, I thought that Cam gave a perfect segue into, into why we have to do this uncommitted voter campaign. And the Black is Back Coalition, uh, I was uh, very pleased to see the, the openness with which they were, uh, you know, really excited about doing an uncommitted voter campaign. The chairman uh, has saw what happened in Michigan where uh, Palestinians got together with several other organizations, including labor organizations, and uh, they created an uncommitted voter campaign around genocide of the Palestinian people. They were trying to change the policies of the Biden administration, and they had a goal of getting 10,000 people to vote uncommitted. In the Michigan, I don't know what I'm hearing. In the Michigan, in the Michigan primary, uh, they actually got 110,000 people to vote uncommitted, and it, it surprised them, and it also motivated other people. Colorado, Minnesota, you saw the same kind of uncommitted voter campaigns happen. So the uncommitted voter campaign of the Black is Back is Make Our Votes Count. And if you go to slide two, our objective is to, to not only get Black voters to vote uncommitted in the remaining presidential, prim Democratic presidential primaries, but everybody that can unite with the issues, some of them raised by Cam, uh, the issues of the Make Our Votes Count campaign, we want them to vote uncommitted. Uh, and the, one of the beauties of this thing is that we're asking people, many of them, maybe millions of people who've never been in a demonstration in their life, probably never will be. And we're saying, do what you've been doing. This time you just do it in your interest as opposed to doing it because you're afraid because that's what the Democrats push. Be afraid of Donald Trump. Be afraid, afraid of the MAGA Republicans. And we're saying we're not afraid of either one of them. Donald Trump, MAGA Republicans, or Joe Biden for that matter. And what we're going to do is force African issues onto the table uh, so that we can be heard. Uh, in slide three, you can see some of the places where uncommitted votes, voter campaigns were carried out. Michigan, Michigan was first. You had Hawaii, Colorado, Massachusetts, Minnesota, and it's having an impact. You, you saw a slight movement in President Biden saying, well, it needs to be a temporary ceasefire in Gaza to, well, it needs to be an immediate ceasefire. It's not a big move, but it also is impacting world opinion about the situation in Gaza. So if you look at slide four, yeah, slide four was uh, just the process they went through to, to organize these other 11 organizations. And the organization was called Listen to Michigan Campaign. That's how they organized the whole uh, uncommitted voter piece. They contacted more than a million voters, 500,000 text messages, 500,000 people through phone banking, and they got a tremendous result from it. Slide number five also talks about their goal of 10,000 votes and how they ended up with 110,000. So this is the kind of work in slide number six, you'll see the kind of work that they actually put into it. That's a lot of work. 500,000 text messages, 500,000 phone calls, but it paid off though, 110,000 people yes, voting uncommitted. So in slide number seven, the chairman had, had gave me a call and he raised the whole question of this uncommitted voter campaign that had been carried out in Michigan. And I was really excited about the idea. Now, Biden and Trump 
have already gotten enough delegates to the Democratic and Republican National Con Convention to get their nominations. They already got that. However, it's still an election going on. It's still an election in November. So we feel like if we can get thousands, millions of people to vote uncommitted, we can still impact what the Democrats say and their policies towards the African issues, such as, and we mentioned some of them earlier. By the way, just to say that these things were, these uh, campaigns were done sometimes in a matter of days, people actually pulled them together. And slide number nine, I really want to key in on that because we started talking about these are the issues that the African community are making to demand that the Democratic Party uh, meet these demands. Got a little typo. <clears throat> stop the genocide against the Palestinian people. Stop funding the settler colonial state of Israel and redirect those funds to pay for reparations to African people and the African community. That unites us with the Palestinian people, but it also is going to raise, hopefully, the eyebrows of African people to see that these two things are committed. This is a struggle against colonialism. And this is just a tactic that we can use to bring thousands more people into the orbit of the Black is Back Coalition and the organizations within the Black is Back Coalition. Drop the train flame up charges against the Uhura 3. You heard Cam mention that the campaign they're carrying out is, is making that demand as well. And we have to demand the end of gentrification. Thousands of African people every day are being pushed out of our communities. They're creating these white enclaves with luxury apartments and luxury condominiums. Every day in the city of St. Pete, you can see it happening. I'm sure it's happening in every city in this country. Yeah. By the way, in the city of St. Pete, <clears throat> it used to be a rare thing to see African people actually homeless. It's not rare now. On a regular basis, you can see homeless African people. People can't afford to live with justification happening the way it is. We want to stop the murders of African people by the police. And we want to end the public policy of police containment in the African community and replace it with a public policy of economic development. So these are some of the tactics. If we go to slide number 11, We'll see some of the tactics, press conferences. We have a press conference before the Pennsylvania primary uh, planned for April the 18th. The Pennsylvania primary, by the way, is April the 23rd. And we're still in the process of printing posters. We need money, y'all. We need to print these posters, flyers. Uh, we do have phone banking going on, door-to-door -door text messaging. And we have to do mass text messaging. So we want to raise some resources as well. So in slide number 12, this is what we want. We want to intervene in the electoral process and in the dominance of the African black petty bourgeoisie in the electoral arena. Because right now, black neocolonial politicians control the African community as far as electoral politics. That's who you see getting elected. Just like Cam was talking about. Drive issues so the African community, Black is Black Coalition and the organizations gain power and influence and act as a vehicle that gives the Black community its own agents and power and force our issues onto the political landscape. So these are the, the Democratic presidential primaries that we were targeting. April 23rd is in Pennsylvania. May the 14th is Maryland. Uh, Tuesday, May 21st is in Kentucky. And then June the 4th is New Jersey. And June the 4th is also Washington, DC. Now, we, we, we have a bigger list 
of the total list is, is many more than this. And uh, we can make that available. So if you have people, you know somebody who can who carry this this uh, these objectives out in the state where there's a primary coming up where we don't have forces, we'd be more than welcome to to uh, talk to you about how we can make it happen. So in slide fourteen, these are some of the things that we can do. And I'm gonna provide our contact information so everybody can get involved in the campaign. If you got relatives in Florida or any other state, uh, let's get them working on these campaigns. We got the Philadelphia primary coming, meaning the Pennsylvania primary coming up April 23rd. And we need phone bankers in a serious way, volunteers to put up posters, pass out flyers at precincts, build a, build a make our votes count, organization in your city. Uh, talk to friends and family and acquaintances about the campaign to vote uncommitted. So if you know some people in Philadelphia, anywhere in Pennsylvania, talk to them about voting uncommitted. And then donate it through our cash app, uh, dollar sign, make our votes count. We also take checks. If you want to write us a check, you can write it out to make our votes count and send it to 1245 18th Avenue South, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33705. And the other thing we want you to do is make our votes count by voting on committee. So in the last slide in 15, here's our contact information. Our website is makeblackvotescount.com forward slash now. Make black votes com uh dot com backslash now. Our email is make our votes count at gmail.com and you can call us at 727-506-0012. So uh, I really appreciate the ability to the the opportunity to talk about uncommitted votes. I think it goes perfectly with what Cam is talking about, the power, overall power of the Black vote. And this is just another way that we can exert that power and, and make them do what we want to do. So, um, Uhuru. Uhuru. Uhuru.